Hello everyone. Welcome to Beta Next Learning. Today we will be looking into format check in data analysis. Okay, because this format check is an important part in data validation, and it comes under the data analysis. So we will look with an example. We will easily we can come to know, and we will be using Chat GPT and Google Colab to process for that. Okay. Nine rupees. Nine rupees cannot even buy you a packet of chips. But what if I tell you nine rupees can save your job? What if I tell you nine rupees can get you salary hike? What if I tell you nine rupees can build your career in better way? Sounds too good to be true, right? So let me go to. So this is our Chat GPT, and you can see. Okay, this is the Excel sheet, and we want the format. Okay, for example, you have seen there are three. Uh, records for the date format and the three records for the email column and the three records for the uh, phone column okay so we want the date column okay it should be in this format 2023 hyphen 12 hyphen 19 and similarly the email also should have the same specification like a user or what to say like the user name at a domain.com format and the phone numbers also must follow the specific pattern like a country code area code number okay so this first record so other things it should okay it should eliminate and it should give an alert okay so we will be using python uh, code to execute this okay because this is an essential part in the data analysis Okay, because it should all the, though we can understand that all are same, but it should give the proper validation. Okay, so if it is not specified in the format, it should give a false value, okay, in the new column. So we will execute that, okay. So only the first part should come fine, okay, because uh, uh, like uh, we need the like plus country code and the area code number, okay, if, if it is a, a phone number, and if it is a email ID means it should be have standard username at domain.com. Okay. Whereas for the second and third, it's not there. And even in this case also, the second record and third record is not following the YYYY hyphen MM hyphen DD. That means year hyphen uh, month hyphen D date format. It's not in that. Okay. So that should be hyphen. Okay. So only this first part should come. So now let's go to this chat gpt okay and i'll be giving this prompt okay i am attaching this is the excel sheet that i have attached it okay whatever you have seen so now let's give the format data sheet oh perform format check and uh, create python code because if it is true it should give true if it is not understandable it should give a false okay python code to ensure that the dates dates are in y y y y m m dd format and email address are in standard are in standard username dot com format and phone numbers follow your follow a specific pattern like uh, uh, it should be have country code right first it should have plus country code and the area code number Okay. 
if it is not specified, uh, we should give a false. Okay. You a false value in the new column. Okay, so this is okay, guys. So it's simple. Again, I am just opening for understanding purpose. Okay, if you look over here, okay, perform format check and create Python code to ensure that the dates are in YYMMDD format. Okay, so this will be. It should be in this format y y y y m m d d hyphen and uh, and email address are in the standard username at domain dot com okay it should be like uh, username at domain dot com okay so everything is there whereas in the second part it is not there third part also this dot com is uh, not there okay and uh, what else we made and the and the format and phone numbers follow a specific pattern like country code and area number so country code right plus one is there that's what i we have given here it should be plus the country code is one okay if it's not in the specific format give a false value in a new column okay so let's see we are giving this prompt let's see how it is giving the Let's see. It's analyzing. Anyway, it's again, it is a small error. Okay. So it's giving. Uh, by the meantime, guys, one important update, as you all are aware, okay, that AI is taking over the world in such a short span of time. We have seen so many layoffs, millions of jobs replaced by AI, and you don't want to get affected by this recession wave, okay? So AI won't replace you, but the person using AI will replace your job. So if you want to save your job and become irreplaceable in your career, join our three hours AI tools workshop in which we'll teach you about the best AI tools to upskill, increase your productivity, and enhance your career. All the installation steps and other AI tools will be explained in detail in our B10X program. So make your future secure with us. Join our workshop by clicking the link below in the description. Okay. So if you go over here, it will be here, B10X. Okay. Let's see. Just to buffering. Okay, you can see the upcoming upcoming workshops. Okay, so you can use here, and if you go for register, you can see when will be the next workshop. Okay, and you can see the trainers and their testimonials over here, and why to join this course and what you will uh, learn. Okay, so all the details are here. Don't miss it, guys. Okay. And it is given it appears that some number entries in the not in string format, which is causing an error. That's fine. The data has been processed and checked for the specific format. Checks if the date is in YYYYMMDD format. Correct. Verifies if the email is in the standard format. Okay. Determines if the phone numbers follow the pattern. Okay, some dates are not in the correct format. Correct. There are email addresses that do not follow the standard format. Okay, so we will ask. Okay. Okay. Maybe, yeah. Would you like to save this updated file to a new file? Okay, it has already given the code, but it asked, but uh, I gave that give the Python code for the above. Let's see. Yeah. 
email. Okay. Let's give them the code. Check email. So. So what is doing here is a Python code to perform the format check. Okay. And. Let's see how it has come. Okay. And so it has given the import pandas.pd and it has given the function over here. It is to check if the date is in this format and it is checking if the email is in this format and the phone number is in the format. Okay. So let's copy this code. And this is for my location purpose. And And we need to change this format, right? And this file will be here, right? So let's see how it is. This will display the first few rows of the updated data frame. You will see how it has come. Okay. So it is coming. Definite check data format. This is the function. It is checking. Okay. Whether the date is in this format. Okay. So how easy, guys? Imagine, right? We need not to think too much of how to code it. Okay. And also checking the email format. Okay and applying the checks to the data frame okay so date format correct okay we will now we'll execute it so it has given okay date is 202312 20, okay the first part right it is true it is giving true 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 the other things are false right so it is giving false false if you want to okay we will Add it to a new data. Okay. And we can give this spot. We'll write it to a new file so that it will be easily, we can understand easily. And just keeping format check to okay because it should be different okay so now i'm running it so it should be in the desired file location i'm going here let's refresh it okay so the new file has come over here let's see okay so correct see it has Because why I think so, this part has given true, true, false. Maybe here I should have given a hyphen, maybe. That is a part. Okay, otherwise, it is true. And uh, yeah. Plus one, true. And our format should be like plus country code and country code plus area code number. So that is the part over here. That's what it didn't recognize. If, if it would have given like together, right? It would have this one and five, if it would have given together, it would have accepted. And that's what it is giving false. Otherwise, it is a true. Okay. So we got it. Okay. So imagine, guys, that uh, in a short span of time, we can did a big coding part. 
like how because format check is essential because the format should be valid especially in data validation and data analysis so hope you enjoyed this session take care bye bye